you all chose A, so that's where the story is going to go. We're going to continue our Smith family vacation on the way to Colorado. Now, last we left the family sleeping overnight in a mansion. The mom and dad wake up the next morning feeling uneasy to find out that it was eerily quiet in the mansion. There is no noises, nothing. It's as if the place was completely empty. So the mom and dad, they get up, they walk around, they go all over the place, and then they realize when they look at each other, Dan and Samantha, that the mansion is abandoned. But last night, there was a butler and the owner. They were baffled. How could this happen? How could they fall asleep in an abandoned mansion? Do they imagine everything happened last night? Was it just in their heads? They were just baffled, confused. So they're exploring around more. And it did indeed, the place was completely abandoned. There were curtains that were closed, other things that were tattered, furniture that was covered up, furniture that wasn't covered up. There was paint peeling off the walls in certain areas. So they go into the room, pack up their stuff, go across the hall, wake up Diana and Anna and tell them, we gotta get out of here. And the girls go, why? This place is abandoned and not safe for us to be in anymore. So the girls quickly get their stuff packed up and they go, worry about showering later. We just need to get out of here. So they go downstairs, but every time it seems like the stairs get longer and longer and then they turn this way, but they meant to turn towards the door. It's like the mansion did not want them to leave. It was keeping them there. And this was going on and on. They would go one way, turn another way. They thought they were heading towards the exit, but in reality, they were somewhere else. They wind up in the kitchen. They wind up in the living room. But when they were trying to go, man, and they were panicking, they were freaking out. And this was going on for about two hours, man. Two whole hours. They were trapped. They just could not get out. And the twist and the, and the turns, it was just so horrifying. And they were hearing noises. And just when they thought they weren't going to get out, all of a sudden, it was like an exit sign appeared in front of them. They go toward the exit sign, they open up the door, they close the door behind them very quickly, and there's a loud clang when the door shut. They run in, load the stuff in the SUV, and go down the winding road, which doesn't seem as scary this time because it was during the day. So they go down the winding road and get back on the main road. But something shocking happened before they started down that road. The gas tank was full. Somehow it was full. And dad goes, well, I don't know how it happened, but it happened. We have a full tank and I'm not gonna question it. So now they're back on the main road, continuing on the way to camp in Colorado for the end of the summer vacation. So they're going down the road and they find a, a place they could pull off and get properly dressed for the day, take a shower, get all cleaned up. And so they do that. They go cleaned up, take the turns, use the shower. And they also realize that they didn't have much food left over at this point in time because they had eaten a lot of it the day before. So they knew they had to make a grocery stop. But before that, they stopped at an IHOP for breakfast. After they finished getting cleaned up and ready to go for the day, they got back on the road, found an IHOP, and ate at this IHOP. Ate breakfast. Then they went to the nearest grocery store and continued on their way. Next thing they saw Sam and Colby stranded on the road because their vehicle had broken down. They had been doing a ghost hunt in Nebraska and they were headed on their way to a paranormal convention to be continued. All right, choice A. Do they give Sam and Colby a ride since they're all going to Colorado and drop them off at the paranormal conference or wish them the best of luck Sam and Colby, and hope they get to their conference on time, or at C, they just keep on driving and ignore them altogether. You decide with your vote. And don't forget, check out the merch and people vote, share, comment, and let's get this to a thousand likes. See you in the next one. Bye for now. Peace out.